what's in there? I got a couple of words already. Um, I got limp, shape, and none. I don't know what's in there, to be honest. I don't see a bottom to it, but it's very bad. Was there a well under that? A smaller group. The smaller group. Like two people. Two people? Okay. Or by ourselves. Screen. Oh, you're using that app? Isn't that a good app to use? I've been using that for years. I just didn't see it as credible anymore because I use it so often. I mean, we've gotten some interesting words from it. Um, typically, how we've always done investigations is we usually have a small group of about five. We usually sit in a group and ask questions until we get something. Um, but have you gotten a lot doing just two people? Yeah. Okay, so why don't we, well... Just this isn't the biggest place, so yeah. I guess your group session would work. So we're probably going to have to stay like in our group of five. Um, you got to write. I felt very tight in that corner, though, back there. I'm not sure if something was going on over here. Like spiritually tight? Yeah. Let me see. Did you find that or did mm -hmm. Where did you feel it? Over here by all these lanterns and stuff. Over in here. I'm not exactly sure what's going on. It could be the electricity from all that. That's possible. Um, Is there anything coming through on that? It said right before we left that area. It's a little bit dangerous because these are heat exchange, so they could easily burn somebody if it's taller. Like um, Joe or whatever his name was. Oh, in our group? Yeah. Oh, that's that's in the orange shirt is Bobby. Okay, Bobby. Mm-hmm. And then my other friends are uh, Jordan and Paul. You didn't feel anything in here, though? I think the, um, the electricity might be interfering. I feel interesting. I feel a tightness around my neck. I don't know why. I don't know. Maybe someone might have been choked down here. There's equipment over here. They've got a little thing for all the equipment that they used over here. I just caught it out of the corner of my eye. Oh, that? Yeah. I think those were just the kitchen tools. I remember those were the kitchen Shears? I'm not sure if shears are kitchen tools. I'm not sure if it saw is kitchen tools. Well, what shears, but... And that's a, that's like to get into a barrel or something. That's what mm -hmm. the spinning thing is. I mean, but... That, well, that's a blade, so yeah. that one's... Kitchen. Those are like screwdrivers. <laughs> I mean, again, to get into like crates and stuff, it's probably not all kitchen tools, but. Nobody's really feeling anything over here, though. Because if that is a wall, maybe somebody drowned or something. I just feel like just a tightness in my throat. But that could be, you know, like you said, if someone's drowned. Okay, this is where I take my pictures, and you saw the ones that had the head. Yeah. And usually it's over here, here, over here. I've only ever got one in there. And uh, anyways, if you take the picture, stay out here and make sure nobody's in here with you. And aim right for that mirror and it bounces back onto here. Or you can get on this side, or you can take a long one from the other side and shoot it in, and you can zoom it in, zoom it up. Uh, in here. It was weird, we had an investigating group come in here for the first time years ago. 
and they were back there. There's a couple of people there, and they had uh, heard uh, movement and stuff and voices, so they were back there talking and stuff. You notice there's a wedge in the door here, right here, and so they were back there. All of a sudden, this went scraping it all the way down and closed. Um, scared the, the GBs out of them, and uh, they came back with their group because uh, they were just a couple people that were checking the place out. They put a camera there and the cameras off through the, the horn. And the guy's in here and he's talking about it. He's walking through, telling him about the door closing. We get you with the door thing and the door closes behind him. Oh, that's so creepy. We had a thing here, uh, what was going on, it was a whole bunch of uh, starting in the basement where things were happening. And it went, worked its way all the way up to here all night long. And the weird thing was, what I do is, I had the group here. This is my area up here when we have our candlelight tours. So I told them, especially when young people go over here, I let the door like this go. I said, Spirits are going to close that door, watch. <laughs> Actually, it's not, it's not even, right? But what happened was, what happened was, yeah. I'm telling, there's a group waiting because we backed up so much, and I had the other group in here, and I'm telling them the story about what happened to those guys and stuff. So I let the door go, thinking it's going to go real, real slow. It goes, yeah. I thought that just scared everyone. <laughs> <laughs> and I hollered, I hollered out there says, to the other group, I said, did anybody touch the store or move, move around here? They said, no. They said they saw the door closed and made a big bang. And it did happen all night long, the bang and stuff. But, it, but all kinds of neat things. And here, and also the store. That used to be for storage up there. Come on. Okay. <laughs> it's not, it could be. It could be the maid. It could be anybody. While, while you were talking yeah, about the door. Okay. About the door. Good. And then, anyways, this is never. What? In fact, see that's that. There's a little crack here. Yeah. Before that wasn't there. That was closed tight. And what happened was I had a group in here, and uh, everybody was leaving. <laughs> <laughs> everybody, everybody was leaving, and. Uh, so they yelled, the, the two people over there, they said, George, George, the, the, the door's opening, the door's opening. Of course, I'm over here waiting, and finally I finally got, <laughs> got, got here, it was open. So I stood here for a while, all of a sudden it closed. Mm. And I've been here since 1990, that's the first time I ever saw that door mm. do that. So that was kind of neat. It used, this used to be, the maids got mad because uh, people were coming and going and getting their supplies and stuff out there. Mm. So finally they tore up the other side so they wouldn't come in here no more. Okay. You'll see that when you go on the other mm -hmm. side. But there's quite a bit of activity in here. Yeah. As you notice, mm -hmm. your friend, the spirit here is, I don't know if it's a female male, but you mm -hmm. can ask, I guess, if you want to. Are you? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's 2020, we don't want to discriminate no more. <laughs> yeah. So, so uh, we'll go around real quick. If you want, if you want to separate, mm -hmm. oh, whoa. if you want to separate <laughs> and talk to the spirit here, uh, you can, or you can do the whole group or whoever's in charge. I'm just going to give you the feed on the other, the other places real quick, mm -hmm. and then you can do what you want to do. Okay? Back. Okay. That's cool. We have a couple different ways that you can communicate with us. We have an obulus you can use. We have heat gauges that you can see Polly has right here. I'm surprised the temperature didn't just increase because that's a heat exchange right there, right. the yeah. copper. Before. I've got that same tool that he has, so if both of them went off, then that would prove that it's more credible, right? Like if they both went off at the same time? So should we just set like all of our equipment in the middle of the floor or something? Yeah, we could space move.
you want to sit down in here, you can. When, you know, when you're investigating, or you can move, move around, whatever you want to do. Now, this is my this is my mirror roll here. Uh, I take a lot of pictures in the mirrors, and so do other people. And sometimes you get faces, sometimes you get orbs, sometimes you get this and that. You know, whole nine yards. You never know what you're going to get. Same with up in here. And lots of times I've got, we've gotten blue orbs up here, and we've gotten uh, blue fog up here. There was blue fog in that corner over there. I usually get white fog up there and some orbs up there. Sometimes there's stuff, there's orbs and stuff over here and stuff when you take pictures and stuff. And uh, a little child, probably about four or five, took her mother's uh, camera and came in on their rug and took a picture down on the rug and saw the gun if it wasn't uh, purple, uh, purplish blue or uh, fog. So that was kind of neat. So. <laughs> so you might get some activity in here. It all depends. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. There's another mirror there. Got mirrors everywhere. Okay, this is the dark room. This is Mr. Patterson's from 19, uh, 49, or 19, uh, 29 and 1949. He was here. He used to develop his own pictures or something here. Those are old cameras? Yeah, there are all kinds of different cameras and stuff in there. Yeah. And I get a lot of activity in here too. There's uh, you want to put your uh, flashlight on this table here and ask some questions. That might be something here. I sometimes do here. Uh, this is all kinds of neat stuff. Uh, I got a question. See if you have the answer. Why are there benches up here other than the sit? Sit up. Okay. <laughs> the reason is they used to play pool up here, so they would sit and wait their turn. Oh. And they used to, they, when the young folks were uh, up and around here, they were in the 50s and stuff, they used to dance up here on okay. the dance floor. And uh, these kind of chairs are kind of neat. These belong to the New Fame Farmers Grange. They went out of existence in the 60s, I think it was. We, we acquired all their stuff, their staffs and rugs and everything. And, uh, and there's, there's a picture of right up there with sashes right there and over, up there behind you. See the sashes? That's from the 1800s. That was the group. And uh, anyways, I was very curious about this chair. I said, boy, this is a really fancy chair. Not to put down the, uh, the farmer's grange, mm -hmm. but I thought it was pretty fancy. Mm -hmm. So finally, knocked it over and looked, looked underneath it and said, uh, Masonic Lodge, Buffalo. Mm. So that's where that came from mm. in this one. Same with the staffs, that's probably where they came from. I don't know what, uh, this I, This is knowledge, I know that that's for sure, but why that's there mm. and the hooks. But usually when I'm doing the candlelight tours, that's for me to pull me out of here when I talk too much. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask, so. has anyone felt woozy up here? Yes, especially the women. Yeah, I walked in and they I'm get, like, they whoa. Get, yeah, they get, it, it bothers their head and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. we get that a lot. Like metal and uh, like I say, you might get some action here too. So whatever, whatever you want to do, I'm, I'm just kind of hanging around with you. And I'm, mm -hmm. I'm just going to when each group comes up, I'll just stick it you know, mm -hmm. and give a little guidance on it. Mm -hmm. And I told them about the the, uh, uh, the uh, cook down in the basement. You know, mm -hmm. yeah, you just got to be nice to her, and then you'll get because she was talking to me yeah. last Saturday quite a bit. Yeah, with, with her flashlight. So she was. Mm -hmm. In fact, she wanted me to stay there for a while, but I had to get going. So whatever you guys want to do is up to you. Well, we should start over there in the major. We want to start. We want to do uh, all six. Yeah, you know, you want to do three and three in, in a different room. You can voice your opinion too. Yeah. I'm an urban explorer, <laughs> so I'm just like. Make sure like... you close that door in the base quarters. That way, if you want to hear other noise and stuff. Uh, so if you guys want to do it right here, I'll say it's in the we had, a big, we had a big mirror in here, but, uh, I had to take it out of here because it uh, was uh, spirits were pulling the women's hair and stuff up here, getting a little nasty, so I had to take the mirror out of the mirror.
Well, we didn't have problems like that. Nick, did you close it? No, I closed. On it, it, so. it was closed. It was closed. I didn't have it. Uh, yeah. I didn't have it wedged. Good. Good. Waiting for you to come back. You can ask questions. Then. Now. Okay. Well, come on now, we're back. Okay. <laughs> uh, no, there's, there's no support in that bed. Yeah, I don't know. This here you can sit in too if you want that one. Yeah, I think I don't hold you. Yeah, so, yeah, I think that's what we're Show me the. Okay, I think we were just over there. Yeah. Is that a well also? This is a system. This is just water. Is there this, anything this special about that or? Yeah, there's been uh, there's been voices heard in here. Uh, uh, is it all right if I record you talking about this? Oh yeah. There's been okay. there's been uh, voices here. We had, when I brought my dog in and when they brought a uh, cadaver dog in, the dog went crazy. Uh, this oh, area, and uh, it's, it's, it depends on, sometimes you get activity, and sometimes you don't, it all depends, mm. you know. And, oh, here's the, uh, all I was talking about right here. And it goes back in over here and over that way. And what I do, I usually stick my camera up there and take pictures, and I did mm. find, I did get a whole bunch of orbs a few times up in there. Up in there. And we think that's where the slaves hid. It's and the trouble is we got a lot of wires and stuff. We might have to move this over here so we can get somebody up in there because there's debris all over the place. And if we can prove that this was part of the Underground Railroad, uh, we can get grants and stuff. Yeah, I was wondering how this place was not part of the railroad because it was the right time period. Yeah. Um, well, I can show you on the side where I always thought it was over, over here was the uh, entrance to the tunnel back over here this way. Right it here. just got colder as we passed through there. Did it really? Yeah. Yeah. Right, right here, it only goes, well, we have steps in it now, but it used to go mm -hmm. about 12 feet in. Can you so see we, in there? No, you can't see in there. It's, 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 it's uh, screwed in. You can't, you have to unscrew well, it. Well, I can see the other side of it. Yeah. But. And uh, it, uh, for years we thought that's where it was because a guy, a friend of mine, he went in in the 60s, about mm -hmm. 12 feet in. We found out that was just where they had their, their kept their uh, food and stuff during the winter. But over here is where, this is where the tunnel is right here. The beginning of the tunnel. Right here. Anything on the spirit? Right here. You notice, see the difference? See the bricks on top? Yeah. Over there? See how it's different here? It's all rough. Mm. And we found out from a family that was here, that lived here, said that the tunnel was right here. It went to the. Uh, so that's what's going on. Okay. And this is where that one picture that sat. This is a. a a woman, it's got writing on down there, it tells you who that is right there. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, she, that's her original. Uh, yeah, that, yeah, science, I guess it's something like a sign sale. Yeah. Anyways, uh, it was over in the West Cook property for a long time, so I brought it here. And the one picture that they got was, it was weird. I don't know if you guys saw it or not, but it looked like a devil or something. Right, right in this area right here. <laughs> Okay. But sometimes you get uh, weird stuff in there. Another time, now the cook here is named uh, uh, Gertrude. Hmm. You can talk to her. You can say she, I always butter her up. I always, <laughs> I always say you're the best cook in the world, you know, and this and that. And uh, and I, I get results with the flat. I put the flashlight up on there, and she starts talking to me and stuff. And but if you're nasty to her, she'll get nasty back. Cause she's when uh, we had uh, our candlelight tours here first year, uh, 
We had uh, people down here. That's when the whole thing was going crazy all through the, each floor. And uh, little pebbles start got in front of the person that was doing it. And then the person saw a shadow figure go through and the voice said, get out of here. But then every place you go on each, each floor, people were being touched, smelling things, hearing things, the whole nine yards, all the way up to the, up to the, uh, when you get up to the attic, I'll, sh I'll tell you what, what was going on up there. And also, I'll show you the uh, uh, lamp, lantern that's up there that was busted down here. That uh, the spirit got real mad and busted. Mm. Okay. What is this object here? This is for, uh, it's right here. Uh, I think it's for churning uh, for the water. And these rockets back and forth like this. Okay. It's more modern. It's more modern. The other ones are more more primitive than that. But that's, I think that's what was made in Buff Blackboard. Oh, Blackboard. Okay. Did anyone um, have cancer here? Uh, it's a possibility. There's a lot of people who lived here. They had uh, families that lived in here be after the Van Horns uh, moved out. Mm. This used to be a restaurant too, Green Acres mm. it was called. Mm, so they had activity. They used to rent out uh, rooms here. So there could be all kinds of different uh, people mm -hmm. and stuff. Said yes to the sign. We're not getting anything on my stuff, right? So I'm just gonna shut those off. See what I start before. Just doing normal stuff. So I am starting the recording. This is the Medai and Alfred Paranormal Society at Van Horn. We are in the maids room on in the attic. I'm Alan. I'm Edwin. I'm Dr. Slavin. I'm Jacob. I'm Mike. I'm Nicholas. And we're here to talk to any spirits if they want. We have a few tools that you can mess around with. Nicholas has a camera that he'll probably be taking pictures throughout the time just to see if anything. We have a thermal camera. You already started playing with the flashlight. And we have pen pendulums and dowsing rods. We also have a spirit box that we haven't really tried that we're going to experiment with today. So I'm just going to turn off the flashlight. So does anybody have any questions to start? Is there anybody here with us? Um, does this mean, this mean um, uh, this is a uh, different temperature, so like if I put my hand in front of it, it's going to turn orange. So most of the time when a spirit is around and wants to show itself, it will normally be cold. And that's not always the case. So if there's an abnormal temperature, you can take a picture with a trigger on the front. If there's anyone here with us, like can you here. turn... Like somebody's watching me from behind. It's kind of sketchy. <laughs> you can turn the flashlight on. You can flip it over the camera. No. in the place you were just sitting. Yeah. Like, just, like there's a closet behind me, like, there's something's gonna touch me. <laughs> I was waiting for it to happen. I hope something touches me. <laughs> Help me. Sure. Shirts? Sure. I don't know. It's very confused, isn't it? 
Wait. Are you in the room with us right now? Knocking. Ooh, yeah. just that was Nicholas. Yeah. Cool. yeah. I'm going to where you are right now. Mike. Near the white dress. What is your name? Edward. Maybe literally he's just introducing Same himself. Okay. Is your name Edward? Yes. Yeah. I got a maybe. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh. <laughs> yes. Okay. Hello, Edward. Hi, Edward. Do you want to stay? Hello. Who's touching me? Oh, you're done. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> literally, he said we might want to pull out of this in, and that's when it, it literally said good, it's hot. I said it's mentally draining, and it said good. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. They were saying you were not. What do you know where I know, they sound like they're having a lot of fun up there. Mm -hmm. well, it's okay to have fun, but it's, it's reckon you guys are out here, though. <laughs> well, the noise and stuff. Yeah. can you give us some recipes? <laughs> yeah, she says yes. Here, can you make a sweet potato pie? I'm going to go see what I can get over in the cistern. Okay. Gertrude, can you make a sweet potato pudding? Hey. Because it's like really. When you guys are right in the room with us, I just wanted to get a little quieter. I think that guy came down. Well, it's paper thin yeah. floors. Can you guys hear us from another room? Yeah. Also, moves you, hear you move around a lot. Why? something move when I came in here. Right in the corner. said there was more than one spare here. This is going to I think it's tough in the jeans. Is Yeah. Okay. Do you ever make pudding? I very delayed, but yes. <laughs> Maybe she didn't make it as often. Was it a frustrating me a frustrating recipe or was it like too easy that you didn't care that much about it? I get those kind of recipes. I 
get the feeling like she's saying maybe frustratingly easy. She's a professional. Yeah, putting the weight in the back of the I'm trying to make a good way of it. Well, when you're making it from scratch, it's more like you've got to watch your temperature and make sure that, you know, it kind of gels. Disrespectful. You made them the meal and they just didn't respect it? Yeah, I feel didn't. bad, Gertrude. You didn't deserve that, Gertrude. I'm sure it was an excellent meal. Or was it every I thought you put your heart and soul, your sweat and tears <laughs> to it. <laughs> well, that's real bright. <laughs> was that to me or to him? Because I asked if there was a mutilation <laughs> Well, you said there was a mutilation, and then what did you say, Bobby? I was t I was like admiring her ethics e e work ethic. That's why she came on, because you're you're being nice to her. It's fun to be nice to she her. She likes you. <laughs> Wanna go out again, Gertrude? Come down. Thank you for visiting us, Gertrude. Now I can be. <laughs> when do we switch up? You're gonna switch over. Um, we usually probably go about an hour a piece um, <laughs> until we stop getting activity. Oh, okay. Usually about an hour. Yeah, so I mutilate on their problem? Yes, yeah, it's a mutilate. Hmm. Then <clears throat> she came back around or what? What? What went on with uh, mutilate, Gertrude? She's giving some sort of resonance to that. Yeah. Was anyone killed in the kitchen? Okay, and then... Well, that's a possibility. Actions happen. Did somebody get their blood on something? Hmm? Their blood on something. Because that'd be irritating to wash up. Some blood. Well, if she also cooks yeah. meat, she can blood her. Like cooking, you know, you still have blood on yourself. Do you still have the laser pen? Because I've got, like... There's a feeling that something's over there. I do not have a laser pen. Do you have a pole? Oh, yes. Just pass it down. Okay. I'll take this one. We got one over here. Oh, sorry. That was right. I've never used one. Where did I put the the thermal? Ace. Oh, this makes me dizzy. Haze. Yeah, it says haze. Like smoky? Here's the point. Smoking castle. Hmm. Was there a fire in the kitchen? Did anybody smoke in the kitchen? Oh, that was probably. Hmm. What kind of way into the house? Yeah. Is there another basement in this? If it is, I really don't want to know. Can you show yourself on this thermal for me? Yeah, it's like the fire. Oh, it does. It's like separated and everything. It looks like it's burning everything. Was there anything in the oh, crawl space okay. cool. Yeah. Okay. Just some orbs. <laughs> Nothing. Well, actually, I didn't focus on the crawl space itself. That's something you gotta respect in life. Mm -hmm. Think about it.
Show yourself on camera for me. Gertrude, did you have cancer? Q. Like Lyme? Hmm? Q like Lyme? No, Q. Q. Oh, Q. C U B E. Q. Oh, that was an orb. I knew there was something in the score in there. I think she had cancer. Anna? Oh, that's my pendulum's name. It is. Anne? Anne the pendulum? Yeah. Anna the pendulum. Anna the pendulum. Sorry, Anna. I guess Anna is kind of cube-like. Enjoy this place. Shut the light off. I've got a question for you. Okay, let me ask a question. Are you okay with me being here? If yes, turn on the flashlight. I don't feel like she wants me. You don't think she likes you? No, she's just playing with me. Like how? Every time I go to take a photo, there's an orb, but it doesn't get captured in the photo. Mm -hmm. It happens before the actual flash goes off. It's blanket. Are there some good blankets? Oh. <laughs> hmm. What do I have to do with blanket? Was it made of wool? This is the only answer I really need to know. I'm gonna work on that. Add the thing over there. I just don't feel like I'm supposed to be over here, so. You don't feel welcome here? No. Do you want to change areas? If you don't feel What welcome. do you mean? Change, change areas and that you guys go over there, or we go upstairs? Like go upstairs, so if you feel unwelcome here, I don't want you to feel unwelcome or unsafe there. Was that you or was that her? What? That, oh, that light to you. Um, 
I'll work on that for a couple of minutes and let's go upstairs. Okay, I just like, I don't, if you feel unwelcome, I don't want you to feel unwelcome. Hmm? Can I have somebody to cover my back though? Because I don't feel that place feels negative. Hey, JD, what the no, I, I mean, I have these are scars. Because I had scars and this had mutilate while I was holding it. Those Just are scars. So I got two scars there, so. And a few other ones, but. Maybe that's what came, why it came across mutilate. Maybe. Well, didn't you also used to butcher? Oh, yeah. So somebody want to come over there with me? I come with you. Yeah. I got one. You feel heavy because I. Okay, is there a spirit up there? Can you say something to that camera? I said say something, but. Oh, okay. Can you show yourself? There's a lot of hot spots over here, just like that you can't see over the edge because it's in a, lot, it's in a very bad spot. Over here it's like covered up by all the machinery. There's a lot of crap in there. Isn't that why we're down here? Yeah. But we just don't have the funds. <laughs> now we're just gonna watch and see if anything comes up on that. Or we could just keep it. Well, I don't. I feel like they like me over there, so. But they don't have a camera over there. Yep. Do you want me to grab it? Just leave that for a little bit. So you can go in there. I'm just going to stand out here. Okay, finally, there was an orb that was caught on camera. Finally. Just now? Yes. I've been seeing them all with my eyes, and then it finally gets caught on camera. Let me ask Richard this question. If you're cooking ham at dinner, can I get a dinner? Here's all our equipment right here. Were you hurt? Did you have some kind of trauma to the ear? You still have any problems over here? Or scratches? And then she said there was a spark between my hands. A what? Uh, like a standard spark, but. Yeah, I kind of heard it. Spark can't help me. <laughs> and then an orb just shot away from you.
Do you think anybody's going outside tonight? Like, it's cold, but that gravestone is supposed to be one of the hot spots. I'd like to grab my jacket, but we can make that our next spot. But Gertrude's coming with us. No, we're not going to be out there very long because it's pretty cold. <laughs> do, you, do you need to move, JD? Just do your bouncing. I start. I stop. Well, basically, I've got a lot of anxiety. So, not because of this, just natural anxiety. Okay, when Brian, I can get a plate. <laughs> yes. I have natural anxiety too, so you're not alone. Gertrude, if he's getting a plate. What? You put your EMF meter or whatever? Yeah, I wanted to see because, you know, those are they're cast iron kettles, so I figured. It's gone lower. It was at 64. Can you move one of these for us? These really old roller skates. That's cool. Am I allowed to touch it to begin with? Can you turn the flashlight all the way up if it's alright to touch this? Well, I guess if I have the light on it, it doesn't really. The world's first Sonic. What? So the world's first Sonic. Sonic. The restaurant? Oh. They have car hops. Does it say Sonic on there? What? <laughs> <laughs> no, because of the roller skate. <laughs> oh. <laughs> to be fair, that roller skate's probably not that old. <laughs> Can't take a, yeah, you can't take, take a joke. <laughs> so, I'm antsy. I'm ready to go. You ready to change? I just have to talk to Nick because if he comes down here, there's a couple of hot spots for the photos, which is what he does. There's a camera running right now. Okay. It's up there. Because when it said void, and I asked if it was the void that way. There's also... Something behind there. I'd love to get back there because personally, I love the Underground Railroad and the stories associated oh, with that. And like the. <coughs> and like the tunnels where there's not, like where you wouldn't think there is tunnels and all that stuff. Are you still here? I think she's ready for somebody new. Probably. Like the flashlight's just barely on. Well, she was turning it completely off. Yes. Yeah, are you ready for us to move on? You want somebody new with more energy? We <laughs> <laughs> see one little flash. Yeah, that's flashing. Oh, she's dying out on us here. She's tired. We should probably give her some. Gertrude needs a break. Yeah. Because that's actually going down now. That's not coming back up. Yeah, she needs a little bit of a. It's like just barely on now. There it is. Thank you, Gertrude. She's kind of like, I'm going to tell that boy. Okay. All right. Here is something to do. Do you want me to get mine? Mm -hmm. The flood? No, just because I'm the first one going on. So pay attention. There's a crawl space in there. And I'm not sure if yeah, there's not really anything like that. Does the GoPro able to see anything? Uh not really. So can I get the flood? We're using a spirit box. Yeah. In which room? 
bomb. Is there any way to describe it? To point it out? Just one of the top. Well, like he'll show you. Hold on. So there's some tools in here. I don't think there's really anything to find in this tool. What? A demon. I put um the other one staring at the dress because he said faces show up. Taking some photos. Thank you. 